what are we doing today? Well, I have a surprise. I just couldn't help myself. I happened to be tooling around the local feed store and I spotted something I had to buy. So anyway, come on into the barn with me and I can justify my purchase. Well, I guess there's no guess to what the surprise is. Those are the two new additions. Those are some Chinese geese goslings. But I can justify their purchase. One, they're very protective of the flock. Two, I always wanted one. So I got two for companionship and maybe I got a girl and a boy so that I won't have to purchase anymore and I'll have a supply of geese. And um, I was a little bit concerned whether they'd get along with the rest of the flock, but they're doing just fine. In fact, last night they were all nestled down together. So along with my justification that one, I can afford them from my mad money recycling money from my aluminum and steel trips to the salvage yard. And I've always wanted them. Plus they will act as guardians. So I think those three justifications warrant the fact that I have them there. So. Every day I come out and I restock the feed. I put down new bedding to make sure that, you know, I'm not creating an unhealthy environment. And I change their water so they have a clean water supply every day. And the chicks, I know you may not be able to appreciate it, but they certainly have grown in just a couple of days. So since today was kind of an impromptu surprise session, I wanted to also give you some useful information about buying antibiotics for your livestock or birds or whatever you have. Um, the, US, uh, the FDA has actually come down with uh, some decision that a lot of the antibiotics that used to be bought over the counter for your your cows and other livestock are now going to be have to be prescribed by veterinarians so just to name off a, a few uh, oxytetracycline is one of them so that's your la 200 and la 300 that i'm familiar with but it those are the injectables and then the bolus tetramycin sours tablets and oxy 500 ca calf boluses also penicillin of course being an antibiotic so penicillin g g's in general so you might know it as a durapen or propen the intramammillary tubules the uh, masticlear go uh, go dry also the sulfa sulfa anti based antibiotics and you might know them by sulfamid for 40 percent dimethox 40 percent the boluses and the super sulfa three cattle and calf boluses the tylyacin injectables so that's tyline 50 and 200 and the cephalosporins uh, inclusive of the intermammillary tubules that today and the tomorrow for those people that have dairy cows. So this takes effect in June. I believe it's June 23rd, but I would definitely make it an effort to stock up now because when you have something that's sick, you kind of want to give it what it needs as soon as possible rather than later. It's just a one less step to have to go through in order to, uh, help out your livestock, <clears throat> excuse me. So uh, that's what we're doing today. I just wanted to give you kind of an update on something that you need to buy, uh, not necessarily a geese, but uh, some antibiotics uh, for your, your herd or your other livestock. And I believe um, also the fish antibiotics are also on the table for this as well. So I believe that um, preppers used to use that so anyway, that's what we're doing today. Have a good day. Bye.